I'll give you a brief description of the components I have mentioned before. Central Processing Unit or the CPU. In the ATM machines, CPU has higher performance than personal computers. Magnetic or chip card reader. Card capable of storing data by modifying the magnetism of tiny iron based magnetic particles on a band of magnetic material on the card. From this image, you can clearly identify the magnetic chip card reader. Device read the data from card and identify the account holder. You know, in our normal life, we are dealing with bank credit cards. In the behind of this card, we have signatured. From this magnetic or chip card reader, device read the data from card we previously signed. Then this reader identified the account holder. And also we know there's a unique PIN number to each account holder. From this PIN pad, personal identification number is a secret numeric password shared between a user and a system that can be used to authenticate the user to the system. As I mentioned before, at the first time we deal with our bank, when we create a new account, they ask from us whether we want a credit card or not. Then when we like to have a credit card, they give us a unique PIN number. Okay, then this display display used by the customer for performing the transaction the process output display old ATM machines display was no very user friendly it's just a normal screen but now in modern days it become more most user friendly today the bank has provide touch screen for the display vault we use this vault to store money and check inside the ATM machine. Now we'll see the software used in ATM system. As normal personal computers ATM system is also runs on a operating system. Mainly bank ATM system use Microsoft operating system. Windows XP professional 
Windows XP embedded are the vast majority of the Microsoft operating systems. Actually this Microsoft operating system is the popular operating system used among current ATA machines. But nowadays few ATA machines use Linux too. Normally, when we develop a software in industry, we have to draw a use case diagram first. Like that, here also we have drawn a simple use case diagram. Through this diagram, we can get an overview of the system. Now, let's we see the descriptive each function of the system. The first function is system startup function. Here we the system startup function is used when the operator turns the operation switch to on the position. System shutdown function. The system is shut down when the operator makes sure that no customer is using the machine and then the turns the operator switch to this off position. Session function. A session is started when a customer inserts an ATM card to the customer reader slot of the machine. The ATM pulls the card into the machine and reads it. Fourth function is transaction. A transaction user is started within a session when the customer chooses a transaction type from the menu of position. Withdrawal transaction function. A withdrawal transaction asks the customer to choose a type of account to withdraw from a menu of possible accounts and a choose to dollar amount from the menu of possible amounts. Deposit function. A deposit transaction asks to customer to choose a type of account to deposit to from a menu of possible accounts and to type a dollar amount of the keyboard. Transfer transaction. A transfer transaction asks the customer to choose the type of account to transfer from one account to another account. Inquiry transaction. A inquiry transaction asks the customer to choose the type of account to inquire about from the menu of possible accounts. Invalid pin extension. An invalid PIN extension is start from within transaction when the bank reports the customer transaction is disappeared.